Studio family. This afternoon we're going to be working on types of astigmatism. In our lens computation guide, page two, we are working on true powers and astigmatism types. If we look at uh, the examples at the bottom of the page, uh, they gave us a plus 150 plus 150 at 90. Now, in the types of astigmatism categories at the top, we had uh, five different kinds. We have simple hyperopic, simple myopic, compound hyperopic, compound myopic, and mixed astigmatism. Now, based on uh, what we already know, uh, we can see that this particular example has two pluses as a part of the prescription. Therefore, we would say that this particular prescription is compound hyperopic astigmatism. Compound meaning two uh, pluses and the hyperopic portion uh, being the plus portion. So compound means two of the same sign and the signs that we have are pluses. So we would say that this is compound hyperopic astigmatism. The other way that they talk about types of astigmatism is in the concept of what we call true powers, which is why we can transpose this prescription to determine uh, the true powers in this particular lens. As we look at the original prescription, the plus 150 is one of the two true powers in this lens. Uh, however, when we transpose this and we look at the sphere power of the transposed portion of the prescription, it will tell us what the other true power in the lens is. Uh, transposition just says that we're gonna take the uh, cylinder and the sphere power and add those two together. Our signs are the same, so we'll just be adding our numbers together. And when we add our plus 150 and our plus 150, we do get a plus three. This is the other true power in the lens. And we can see that this particular uh, prescription is also a plus. Uh, we've got two pluses then. One, two, reestablishing the fact that this is in fact a compound hyperopic astigmatism. So whether we are looking at the signs of the original prescription or the original sphere and the transposed sphere, in both cases we have two pluses confirming our compound hyperopic astigmatism answer. Now, as we look down the page, we've got a couple of other examples. Now, example number two is showing us a plus three, minus one, at 45. When we look at this particular original prescription, it is showing us a plus and a minus. Now, under normal circumstances, we would say that this would be a mixed astigmatism. But in the case of a mixed astigmatism, we must verify our um, answer. It may become something else. When we look at our simple and compound astigmatisms, um, even though we can verify, uh, they will never become something different than what they started out as. That is not always true with our mixed astigmatism. So let's take a look at the other true power in this lens. So when we do our transposition, we're combining that cylinder and sphere together. 
we again are going to keep the sign that is attached to our bigger number, 3 being the bigger number. Then we're going to take away that smaller number, so 3 minus 1 equals 2. Now when we look at the original prescription, we have a plus. And then in our transposed sphere, we also have a plus. We actually learned that this truly was not a mixed astigmatism. It actually is a compound hyperopic astigmatism or two pluses. One, two. So for example, number two, we started with a mixed astigmatism, but through the process of confirmation and transposition, we were able to determine that in fact, this was a compound hyperopic astigmatism.